Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, back in early December, I brought you a video on the Fire OS 8 devices. In that video, I explained how it looked like Amazon had done away with that new update, that feature update that they put in to the latest Fire Sticks. I'm talking about that little gamepad icon on the left, and over on the right, you have that profile slash gear combo icon that I, for one, just hated. I mean, up until that point, it was over three months since they released the new Fire Sticks, the Fire Stick 4K Max, second generation, and some of the others with the Fire OS 8. And there was no sign of that new feature. I, for one, was quite happy about it, and a lot of you agreed with me in the comments of that video. Until today, where one of my loyal followers, Kelhound, sent me this comment on that video. It says, bad news, I just got an update on my second generation 4K Max, and the game icon and the settings profiles icon are both on my home screen. And ironically, he didn't even get all the other features that they incorporated into that, like Deep Sleep and some of the others. And to make matters worse, all of his privacy and preference settings went back to the factory defaults, all by themselves. So I thought it would be a good idea to get this quick video out to let you know about this Fire OS 8 update to make sure that all of your settings stay the way you want them to. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I am on my Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. And sure enough, as you can see, this is an update that came in today. There is the gamepad icon. And if you scroll all the way over to the right, it bundles that profile icon with the little gear um, to go into settings. And down in settings, we have this profiles button that I, you know, I explained in the earlier video is somewhat useless. It just adds another tile into our settings here that uh, I feel isn't necessary. Let me go over and show you the update that came in and the version that this is that you need to take a look at to see if you are affected. You go over to my Fire TV and then you go into about, and let me make myself a little smaller here. It says, this is software version Fire OS 8.1.0.2. The .2 is the important one. That's the one that made this um, gamepad icon show up. And according to Calhoun, at least on his device, a lot of the settings, let me go back to that, a lot of the settings had changed back to defaults. Now, luckily for me, it looks like those settings are still fine. So if I go into privacy settings, all of these things are still set to off. And if I go into, you know, featured content and things, these things are off. A short while ago, I made an updated video on all the settings that you really want to shut off on your Fire Stick uh, to make sure that your privacy is, you know, is kept. I'll put a link for that video. I'll put obviously a link in the other video to, to explain a little bit more about this feature update. So for me, at least, it looks like my settings are intact. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this, this icon over here. I don't like it. You know, it is what it is. There's no way to go back, unfortunately. Um, so we're kind of stuck with it. But I would really like to hear from you in the comments down below. Do you have this update? Do you have uh, this gamepad icon on your home screen? And this shared icon over here with the profile and the gear? And more importantly, did your settings, your privacy and preferences go back to factory? That's the big one. You're really going to want to make sure that those settings are the way you want them. So that's about it. Like I said, a really short and sweet video. I wanted to get this out to you. Again, I want to thank Kelhound for sharing this with me. This is what's great about the Cord Cutters LI community. I have people reaching out to me all the time with questions. Sometimes they give me information that I wasn't aware of, as in the case here. So thanks again for that. So with all that being said, if you enjoy anything you see here at Cord Cutters LI, I really appreciate you liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this in all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.